Let's go ahead and write down the information and see what's going on. First step, well, we see that it says, how long did the trip to the beach take if the return trip took four hours? Okay, my party people, here's what it says again. How long did the trip to the beach take? Let me highlight that there. Right over there and over here. Let me go ahead and use blue and green this time. So how long did the beach to the trip, uh, the trip to the beach take? Wow. Um, so here we go. To the beach. What we can say is that to the beach. Right there. We are looking for the time. And that's what we're looking for. Everybody, yes or no? Is that what we're looking for? The time it took to get to the beach? Just confirming with you. I love those of you that are participating and really paying attention. You guys are gonna earn the most out of this class. So then it says the return trip took four hours. So what I'll do is I'm gonna write this part over here. Return trip. And over here, I'll say time was four hours. Okay, let's be real, my ASVAB party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine, two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So let's again, just really categorize the data because the point of this is not to know the answer right away. Sometimes you just have to or understand the information first. We're understanding, we're trying to figure out the time it took to get to the beach. We have the time it takes to get back. Great, let's read through the other pieces of information. Here it says, Mary biked to the beach and back home on the same route. On the way there, Mary biked at a rate of 12 miles an hour. Again, it said on the way there. So again, on the way there, 12 miles an hour. Cool. So I'll write my rate over here. Everybody, is that true? Is that a rate? 12 miles an hour? Is that a rate? Is that a rate? Thank you. Perfect. 12 miles per hour. And then it says biked at a rate of 33 miles per hour on the way back. Okay, great. So my rate for the return trip, we see 33 miles per hour. Perfect, splendid, excellent, swell, word knowledge. So from here, what do we do? We wrote down all of our numbers, great, cool. And now if we look closely at the side that we're trying to solve, we're trying to get the time to the beach I have the rate to the beach. But one thing I'm missing is what? What am I missing from this side, everybody? What am I missing from this side? Yeah, I am missing the distance. Nowhere in the problem did it say distance. Hmm, hmm. Nowhere in here did it say distance, but I need the distance to figure out what the right answer is. So, Everyone, can you tell me what the key word or key phrase is that's going to hint at what to do here? Who knows? I know Delilah knows. Delilah, you've covered this problem so many times. I know I can trust that you know how to handle this one. But um, yeah, what is it that we're supposed to highlight here? Divide 12 by 4. Matthew says hours. Isadora says miles per hour. Eros says return trip. John says, solve the return trip. Okay, well, let me expand on that to get the distance. John, why is it that if I look above my big old head, I have that time, I have that rate. Why is it that if I use this to get the distance, that that's gonna help me? I'm looking for that distance to help me solve that problem. Why does this one matter? Why does it matter for me to find the return trip, why? Why is that important? Why is that going to help me? Okay, Eros follows up. Eros says, because they are the same distance. Jalen says, same distance, just different times. You guys are horrible lawyers. You know that, right? Why? Give me a reason why. Why do you know this? <laughs> why do you know this? 
If I needed you as a lawyer, man, you guys would just be, yo, just believe me, fam. He's innocent. That's not how it works. Why is it that the distance here is going to be the distance over there? Why? How do I know? Janae, thank you. Thank you. Everybody, go ahead. Go ahead and give some snap, crackle, pops right there for Janae. The same route. Over here, pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. Right here. Mary biked to the beach, and then Mary biked back home on the same route. Everyone, if we're talking about the same route or same route, if I'm going from here to the grocery store, and that's two miles, and then I go from the grocery store straight back home the same way I came, that's two miles. So what that means is that if we're taking the same route, same route means same distance. That's what that means. The same route means the same distance. Everyone, yes or no, does that make sense now? Because I can now find the distance over here. Let me make this a little bigger. So I can now find the distance by doing 33 times 4 because that will give me the distance here being what? 33 times 4 is... Can't do 33 in your four that 33 times four in your head that fast. Come on, someone has it. Eureka, thank you. 132, 132 miles. Now, don't ask Mary why she's biking 132 miles to the beach. Y'all have asked me that before. I still don't have an answer, even though I made this problem. So, we have this distance here of 132 miles. And so, what this means, everyone, is that this distance over here is 100 and 32 miles. Again, same route. That's what that means. Once we found the distance back home, that's the same distance to the beach. Same distance. And now we can use that to find the final answer because we can plug in the distance rate time right over here. And we can solve. We can have 132 equals the rate 12 miles an hour multiplied by t everyone what did we do to both sides to get the final answer here again just testing your ability yeah we're going to divide both sides by 12 that's right so we'll go ahead and do that right there and so there it is cancels out and we end up having the time that it took to get to the beach equals 11 hours and there it is booyah 11 hours is your answer and you're good so before you pay any huge amount of dollars or money to anybody claiming that they can help you pass the ASVAB you should always consider what they offer for free with us we're going to be offering our full program for free for a full week all you got to do is do that right there or scan that QR code and you'll get access to all of our classes practice problems courses everything for a full week so you know exactly how it works and you have the exact confidence that you need to raise your score. Get started now. I'll see you in there.